Right, hello ladies and gents, Jack here for Peach Guitars. Today I'm joined by Alex, who is our brand new resident acoustic specialist, who you may have seen before. Welcome Alex, thanks for joining us on what's quite an interesting video, really. So rather than just doing the standard run-of-the-mill acoustic stuff, we wanted to kind of bracket this with a little bit of an interesting question. Now if you're one of the lucky few who get to browse many shop websites going from price high to low, this will stand out as being the most expensive acoustic guitar that we currently stock, and I think maybe have ever stocked. I don't know that for sure, but it's certainly, of this moment, right up there. I don't know why that is. I'm gonna just plead ignorance today, and I'm gonna let Alex explain exactly why this guitar is such a special, and why it's worth the value that it has, why it's such a cool piece. So first of all, what is this? So this is a Loudon. Uh, it's the F body shape. Um, that originally stood for flat picking, the F. Um, oh, but, did it? So, yeah, so it's designed to be kind of like not not leaning towards the bass, not leaning towards the treble. Right, straight away I'm out of my depth because I always thought that stood for folk. Yeah, so the O is original, which was... Yeah. Then they had the S, which is the small, but the F, um, which is like their most popular, yeah, actually stands for, for flat picking. Okay. And although it's a really popular guitar with fingerstyle players and stuff, it's... Um, it's really nice with a pick, I think. So this particular one is the F body, um, but it's it's we're the first people to have one of these available for sale. This is a new master series. So this is built by George with his sons and with a couple of people from their workshop, like the most specialist kind of people. Right. Everything about it is like super high spec and the best woods that they don't even normally use. These are woods from um, George's own collection. Right, okay. So I think basically if someone orders a custom shop normally, yeah. um, there's certain woods that he's got aside which doesn't even use then. So this is the first of like the top tier okay. series they're using. So I did hear something that these guitars don't even necessarily get sold. Sometimes they get made. I think but one's they been made which may have been gifted to Ed Sheeran from what I've heard. Not 100% sure Who? on that. And. Um, and um, but this is we're definitely the first people to have one of these for sale. Um, I think they're going to be doing about ten of these a year as an approximate right. number, as opposed to sort of twenty odd a week of the, you know, the normal ones. So the wood, it's um, sinker redwood on the top. Obviously, you're familiar with the sinker concept, wood that's been reclaimed from under the water, mm -hmm. in the water, um, and it's koa on the back and sides. Um, all of the appointments are the sort of top tier you can get on their custom shop instruments. So as well as all the um, abalone binding, we've got a beautiful rosette. Um, sorry, beautiful rosette here, which is a bit flashier than the normal ones. Mm. We've got a custom designed inlay. Every all the intricacies are there. The um, ebony binding. It's ebony bevel here. Basically, just beautiful um, build quality. The finest timbers and yeah. So for anyone who's not particularly well versed with Loudon, like myself, so you kind of top out on the standard range with the, the 50, is that yeah, right? Really so like the yeah. F50 for example. But then this is obviously going to be the step above. This is the, the highest shop tier would normally currently, leave yeah. yeah. So I know like on the 50 series you have access to woods that you don't normally have access to. Um, and they sort of say to think of it as their custom shop. Mm. Um, that's when they use their master grade woods and such. I don't think there's a tier above that until until now, from what I'm aware. But George, is, George wants to still be involved with building guitars himself, um, rather than just kind of guiding the company. But I think his waiting list is like huge. Mm. And I think by enlisting, you know, the help of some of his, like, like one of his sons, I know they're very, they're kind of like him with a lot of attention to details. So one of the sons who like works on the bracing and such is very like focused on it being, you know, the best he can do it. They're not just kind of like, um, you know, joining the Loudon team and coasting along. I think there's a lot of dedication and effort. So to try and reduce the waiting times for some of his customers who've been on the waiting list for a long time, yeah. he, sometimes like his sons and that will help. So this is him, his sons, and I believe of a workshop of about 25 people. There's just a couple who work on this as well. So they kind of just take the finest people they have to 
to put this piece together. I think that is extremely unusual as well for a company of this size and magnitude where the owner and the founder is still that involved yeah. in the production of and they've been doing it since the 70s and yeah you know, he's like early 20s when he started and still passionate it's really cool and um yeah so i guess what you're buying here is not only a fantastic instrument but it's kind of a ticket to the top of a waiting list if anyone out yeah. there knows the rolex steel sports watch dilemma out there at the moment where you just can't get certain pieces but you know you pay a premium to get right to the top or the front of the list that's kind of what this is you so see you're jumping the queue but you're getting a one-of-a-kind instrument at the same time. Yeah, so some of the things that would make this like a Loudon guitar like a top-tier kind of instrument anyway, um, when there's like that much like of a hand-built process, everything is sort of done specifically for a guitar. For example, like the bracing will be hand-voiced for each guitar. Okay. So rather than it sort of like, you know, if a machine... they I think they used machines at the very start of the build to help with like getting, you know, some of the initial stuff done. But so much of it's done um, by hand. So every, like, every part of the um, construction is voiced to work together. So they don't sort of just... Um, so I find that the more expensive guitars in the acoustic world if you're looking for that kind of clarity and like tonal brilliance like aesthetics aside i do think more expensive guitars do sound better i love the vibe of loads of guitars so i'm not saying like overall like a more expensive guitar is a better guitar it completely depends on what kind of thing you're after but yeah. if you are after like that kind of clarity that lovely low end the articulation i really think when you get like a hand built guitar where everything is voiced to work specifically on that instrument it does just elevate it up mm -hmm. a level yeah and this has got that which they always do but plus the rarest sort of like beyond master grade um Timbers. woods that he's put aside for himself yeah um you know the the full works on the aesthetics so it, it's you're paying kind of for the fact it's built by him in mm -hmm. the process the fact it's the best timbers um the fact that all the aesthetics like the binding and you can see this kind of like beautiful frame on the binding yeah. here yeah. are all kind of top tier and then you've just got an, an actual great instrument as well um so yeah kind of paying for rarity sound and looks very well put so it's one of those packages where if you've got the money for this kind of thing, you're not going to think twice about it. It's a fantastic collector's piece, obviously. It's got a lot of kind of gravitas in the Loudon lineup, but it's also got to work as an instrument. There would be little point to it if it didn't sound great. For sure, and it does sound lovely. So, really lovely. all of that said, you're going to hear a couple of sound clips now of Alex playing a little bit of myself as well. And we'll just try and dig into, you know, you've spent a little bit of time with this. You kind yeah. of said it's voiced in a particular way, it does a certain thing very well. Yeah. Let's I've... try and get to the bottom of that. Yeah, yeah, of course. I think. So, hope you've enjoyed what we've talked about so far, and I hope you enjoy the sound clips you're about to hear. Without further ado, let's get to it.
All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed the sound clips and hopefully it comes across what a great instrument this is as well. I know we talked a lot before about what a great creation it is and kind of, mm -hmm. you know, what it means to the loud and company and to collectors and so on, but it really is a beautiful guitar. Exactly. It's, it's really enjoyable to play a variety of styles of music. If you can, um, you know, get a piece like this, it's, it's not going to disappoint. It really is a beautiful instrument. There we go. So get on the phone to the bank or whatever you need to do. Just make it happen. If you want more information about this particular guitar or indeed the rest of the Loudon range that we stock, all the information will be on the website. So the link is in the description below. Head to peachguitars.com and you can find out all the stuff that we didn't mention about this stunning instrument over there on the website. But as usual, be very quick because this is, as of now, one of one. So thank you very much, as always, for watching. If you've enjoyed this, remember to leave a like, comment down below with your thoughts on this stunning guitar. Is it worth the money, or are we talking a load of twaddle? You decide. Let us know in the comments. And if you're new to the channel as well, make sure you hit subscribe, and you ring the bell so you're notified when new videos come out in the future. But until next time, thank you very much, Alex. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much for watching. Take care. We'll see you soon.